Welcome to Season Chasers. I'm Rob Freeman. Those that love nature and outdoor sports spend a lot of quality time looking for adventure throughout the year. The more you study, the more you learn about the peak seasons in nature. It's fun to know when it's best to go fishing or hunting, when it's time to pick blueberries, wild mushrooms, or native pecans. Sometimes the peak season is close to home, right in your own backyard, or it could be miles away near the mountains and the sea. Either way, this program will chase the seasons where the action is hot. The season is spring. Eric has invited me to a Kansas lake that I'd never fished before. Today, we're going to catch a lot of fish. Some types I haven't caught in a long time. Season Chasers, a service of Blue Ribbon Farm at Home, Albers Marine, the CIC Power Box, and Moly Automotive. Study, learn, and share the great outdoors with Season Chasers. I'm fishing with Eric today and Eric, where are we at and what are we doing here? Well, this morning we're on Coffee County Lake, um, known by several other names as well. Uh, it's the cooling lake for the Wolf Creek uh, nuclear power plant. And we are fishing the, the, the riprap, with which there is ample in this lake, for wipers and smallmouth are our primary targets. Well, when we checked in here, the fellas told us that as windy as it's been, they've had this lake closed more than it's been open. Yeah, it's a, they, Coffee County manages the lake um, for wind purposes. If we did a panoramic shot, you'd realize we're kind of sitting on top of a hill, which is an unusual place for a lake. It was built specifically to cool the reactor. Uh, sometimes they have to pump water into it to keep it full. So what are some of the species that are hopefully plentiful in here today? Um, we're hoping to get into the wipers, the, the white bass striper hybrids. Uh, smallmouth are plentiful. There are crappie and largemouth bass and walleye and channel cat, uh, flatheads. Uh, kind of has a lot of a lot of variety. Well, I'd like to meet some of all of them. Yeah, <laughs> it can happen. <laughs> and this is this is one of those places that if you're looking to get your line stretched and just have a good time numbers are good and you just never know what you're going to catch. Fine. Come on, I think. Little old fat smallmouth. That's something you don't see every day. I hope you don't see a lot of them today. Well, good. But that's that's a small, on the smaller side. Well, those are a lot of fun to catch. Glad to see them in there like that. I I have no data to back up my next statement, but having fished several lakes in the eastern part of the state, uh, it has to have one of the best smallmouth populations uh, around numbers wise. There may be places to catch bigger ones, but for numbers, I don't think I'm, I'm fishing at weightless. This is a little Zoom Super Fluke Junior. Uh, and I'm just throwing it towards the rocks and, and there's almost like a little shelf in those in that rip wrap. And I'm letting it sink slowly and I'm just twitching it now and then. And most of the bites come on the fall as it's slowly sinking. Fish on. Ah, oh, my. Another nice small one. Nice one.
better one. Yeah. Wasn't as good as I thought he was the way he was fighting. A stocky yeah. one. Yeah. Very healthy. We'll be back in a little bit as it, as it takes right. a while to weigh them. No problem. They fight good. Eric's got a wiper on. And I don't think that wiper's very happy about no, it I'm either. It's not making much of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what we came for. That's probably about a three and a half to four pound fish. Tell us what this is again. This is a wiper. It is a, a hybrid between a white bass and a striper. Um, they get they get not as big as stripers. You know, uh, eight or nine pounds is a, is a large wiper. Um, they fight like a striper as far as you know. When you hook one, you saw him head for open water and just uh, just pull. Um, but they are also partially white bass. So that's what one of the things we're after, and one of the things there's a lot of here at Coffee Camp. And we think they run in school, so we hope we Hopefully. might just be getting into them. He come up and got that one. That was right on the surface. Yeah. What do you call on this one? It's definitely a wiper. I'm not sure you see. Interested to see the size. Come on. He's going deep. Yeah, he's trying. Better. What's the size on that bad boy? Uh, not quite four pounds, but you know, obviously been eating good. Just a lot of fight, pound for pound, way more fight than a large mouth. Uh, they just all they know is put the head down and go. Part of the fun of this place is figuring out what you got on. And this is a smallmouth bass hitting the smoke jig that I threw right up there off that riprap. And there he is. That's a smully. Those are fun to catch. You get largemouth in a lot of places and uh, these smallmouth are a little more rare, but uh, we'll throw that one back and see if we can find his big brother. Here we go. He's got a wiper. Got a wiper? Wiper or white bass? I couldn't tell for sure which. Got a little heavier equipment. They're not keeping your tail. Tell us how to tell them apart. Have to look at their tongue. Okay, we're almost there. Almost to that point. Um, All right, which one is this? That is a white bass. White bass, okay. Uh, a white bass, the tooth patch on their tongue is a single patch. In a wiper, they're distinctly divided, and it's, it's a, a left and a right. They are related, but 
they are related. Just a little there different. are some differences, and sometimes it, it can be difficult to tell the difference until you look at the tube. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it looks like I got one. Under the boat yeah. here. Just want to see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Another white Yeah, this is a net fish here. We can help bring it to you. All right. Welcome aboard. All right. Awesome. This is the wiper. Ladies and gentlemen, what a nice wiper. We're up here at the Wolf Creek Nuclear Power Plant. This is the cooling lake. And uh, we're getting some atomic action here this morning. Wow. Those are fun to catch. Another one? Yeah. Ooh. A small one. Small, smally. Mouth bass. Just like that. Nice small. Nice small. Smally? Yeah. Good one. I got the net here. Here he comes. You don't like that net. One more time. There we go. That's a nice one. Take a look at this guy. Woo. That's a good small mouth. That's a great small mouth. Is that pushing three? Yeah, it should be. I want to check the length on here for just, for just Super. a second. Super. What a beauty. It's about 17 and a half inches long. So, two and a half, three pounds. Wow. Nice, nice fighter, nice. too. Nice fish. And the action continues. Yes. Another <laughs> small one. Now there's a number of species in here, but so far we've been getting the small mouth and the wipers. Another fish on, another small mouth. Yeah, it's a small, small mouth. Almost. Almost a double. But we're in the lucky seat. Looking for the best one we ever had on. But uh, take that one in the meantime. Smallmouth bass. Oh, God, the other day I took a guy turkey hunting. And this new place has a creek meandering through it. And you got to get across the creek for the best hunting. And, uh, well, there's a real good crossing there that I found that's a pretty good sized log, about three or four feet of over the creek. And we're in there going in the dark and I tell the guy we're with, now here I'm gonna show you how I think this works. And I made it about three quarters of the way across there. Lost my footing. Had my camera in one hand with a crossbow in the other grabbed onto the thing with my arms and legs and before I knew it I was hanging upside down. Thank goodness it was too dark to film or it would have been pretty funny. <laughs> anyway, I, it was one of those moments like they must feel like on the American Ninja Warrior show yeah. when you're hanging upside down and you're losing your grip. Well, that's what it was like and finally the legs had to go and it was only waist deep water. but. 
at sunrise, that's not when I want it to be wet to the waist. But uh, I told the other guy, don't do it like this. You gonna need the net on that one? Mm, I don't think so. He's not. He kind of meets mid size. Come to Moly Automotive in Frontenac. Right now on the showroom floor, you can own a top-of-the-line GMC truck equipped with the Powerbox Toolbox Unit. It's the green way to generate and store your own electricity as you drive. This unit is very safe. It's all battery capability inside, and your vehicle itself will recharge the system as you go. Powerbox is better than a generator. No fumes, no extra fuel, and no noise. Tell the showroom staff you want to see the power box from TV and get a special deal on a power box that fits every truck on the lot. Your source for the truck mounted power box is Moly Automotive in Frontenac. Blue Ribbon Farm and Home has about everything you need for every season. Plants, lots of seeds and supplies for your lawn and garden. Homes and treats for wild birds. New saddles and supplies for your ponies, dog collars and pet grooming aids, plus grills and recipes for barbecue season. Whether you have a lap dog, a sport dog, chickens, or a goofy goat, Blue Ribbon Farm and Home has all the feeds you'll ever need. Blue Ribbon Farm and Home, rated outstanding by the goofy goat. When it's time to buy a better boat, Albers is the place to get your best deal on a new Tracker or Nitro. Albers Marine, Arma, Kansas, trade up to a new Tracker, ready for the lake, powered by Mercury Outboards. Albers Marine, Arma, Kansas. Your ticket to the great outdoors is Tracker from Albers Marine. Albers Marine. Arma, Kansas, your Tracker and Nitro Boats dealer, North Highway 69, Arma, Kansas. Here's the outdoor reservation line. Give me a call and get on the list. Oh, yeah, that's a chunker. Check this out. That's a bigger fish. A little different, a little different scenario, a little different setup. We kind of changed locations to more of a flat instead of a riprap, and it's not very deep. Uh, I changed to a Jean Larue Biffle Bud on, a, on what they call a Biffle Hardhead. Um, was really searching for smallmouth, and I still think we're going to catch some smallmouth. But uh, obviously, the wipers are in here feeding too. Woo! Good that's job. Probably, that's probably a four and a half pound. Here's a dump. Oh! oh! So much for my four pound that, line. That was a. Uh, that was a double. That was a double you just let get away. Another double. Yeah. That's true. He got me. Here's the boat. Put away that four pound line. That means that school of wipers might be out there. That's a not, nice one. Not giant, but fun to catch. You bet. Good fish. That one kind of pulled the boat around, didn't it? Yeah, we're, we, it ain't over yet. <laughs>
Woo! Another good one. I might have to weigh that one because he's pretty stocky. Yeah, four and a half. Two. Thought it was a whole lot more than that when he freight trained that bait. Yeah, he ate it pretty good, didn't he? Yeah. Fire. Might need it on this one. There's a small mouth, ladies and gentlemen. And today we've caught wipers. We've caught some uh, white bass and the smallmouth bass. And there's other varieties in here. And Eric's uh, out to catch the biggest drum of the day. Right? Yep. It's just a matter of time. <laughs> now there's some drum in here too, but there's also walleye and uh, largemouth bass and crappie and a number of other species that uh, we'll see if we can't share with you today on Season Chasers. Pretty sure got a smallmouth on here using this grub. Oh, it's a nice one. That's yeah. a good one. This is a nice smallmouth. Look here, he even stripped the grub right off. Now that's a nice brown bass there, folks. This is uh, kind of one of the reasons we came down here was for the wipers and the smallmouth bass, because you just don't have those everywhere. And this is a nuclear cooling lake. And we're not anywhere near the hot water outlet. But the fishing's pretty hot here just the same. Look at that smallmouth bass. And we're doing a lot of catch and release today. When we got the crappie, we'll fill the basket. But these guys are get going your, back, Get right? your line stretched and have some fun. <laughs> I call it fun fishing. Oh, that's really fun. But um, that's the smallmouth bass. And we've seen wipers. And you've seen some uh, white bass, too. And. Uh, they were liking that, uh, that one you gave me. And there it is. <laughs> Fat Albert. Fat Albert. Hey, hey, hey. That's a crappie. Oh, goodness. Look at this. Hope I don't lose him. That's a big old crappie. Woo! Fishing, fun fishing on on Coffee County. You just never know what you're gonna catch. Wow, that's on big old grub. Bender. <laughs> Fun size. Sorry, you're on your own here. Uh, I, I'll get it. Maybe. Now they're small. Another small mouth. Not giant, but like I said, I have trouble getting tired of it. But the people watching today, you got to ask yourself, how many of those have you caught last year? Not enough. Not near enough, but we're going to try to up our count today, and that one counts for sure. Right in your net. <laughs> he landed himself. Yep. How nice. <laughs> Wow. Well, Eric 
Rick, it's been one heck of a day here. <laughs> You've treated me uh, to a bunch of fish that I haven't been on for a long time. It was a good day. They they cooperated. You know, some days you come up here and you smash them like we did today, and some days eh, they're not they're not quite so good to us. But the size was average or above. The numbers average, maybe slightly above. Uh, we just we had a good day. We didn't get blowed off the water. The wind cooperated, so. And there's uh, been a lot of uh, accidents on this lake in the past, and so they've got a real strict uh, safety format here, I suppose. Uh, they gave us these radios, uh, so if the wind comes up, uh, we can get off the water uh, in a safe amount of time. And they were telling us that in the last several weeks, the lake's only been open about three full days. Three full days, now I know you know, of other days that it was partial days where you'd get on early in the morning and then 10 o'clock, 10.30, the wind would get high enough that they'd pull you off. Well, we got to see a lot of wipers today. We got to see some white bass. Um, caught the, uh, some really, really nice crappie. Yeah. The, the length limit here is 12 inches and we've got nine keepers here. Yeah. So that's, that's really excellent. And uh, what else? Did we catch any other kinds of fish? Smallmouth. Yeah, oh, smallmouth. Let's not leave out the smallmouth. talk about the smallmouth. <laughs> well, that was the special uh, part of this, and, and it's really a treat to come here, and it's the, it's the Wolf Creek Nuclear uh, Power Plant uh, um, Cooling Lake. Also known as Coffee County Lake. Definitely, for fun fishing, it doesn't get a whole lot better. We did a lot of catch and release on the other species, but these crappie, they're going in the freezer. <laughs> Good enough. Well, thanks very much. Appreciate thanks, you Ron. putting us on to these fish. And uh, so we've been studying, <laughs> we've been learning, and today Eric shared uh, a lot of different kind of fish catching with me today. We're glad to share it with you on Season Chasers. Thanks for coming along. Walker, walker. Tune in each week for some of the stuff you just won't see on other shows. Outdoors, wildlife, and a life of adventure. Being on the lookout for natural foods and making the most of what the wildlife provides. Study, learn, and share the great outdoors with someone who's important to you.